today we have Festool's new multi-mode sander. It's called RO90DX and it has two different sanding attachments, three different sanding modes, variable speed, vacuum attachment, and a couple other issues to talk about. So let's take a closer look. Okay, let me tell you what I like about this tool. This is really pretty revolutionary in the fact that it has three different sanders in one spot. You get a rough sander, a fine sander, and a detail sander. We're gonna start with the fine sanding mode. This is gonna be your everyday, most often used mode. It's gonna be the one you're most familiar with because it's similar to your existing random orbit sander. This is what you'd use when you've glued two boards together and you need to smooth out that glue joint when you're erasing pencil marks. This is gonna be kind of your everyday, multi-purpose mode that ranges from really fine, gentle kitten sanding all the way up to you know a little bit faster. Another interesting thing about this is that it's smaller though. It's only three and a half inches compared to the normal five inch and six inch pads. And this will allow me to get into smaller, tighter spaces. Now the round pad will operate in two modes. They have sort of a random orbit mode and they have what Festool calls Rotex. And what this does is it combines a circular motion with an eccentric random orbit kind of a motion. You team this up with a really coarse sanding disc, and this gives you just a coarse, aggressive, rip your teeth into the wood kind of a cutting. Uh, it'll take paint off of rough wood, it'll take rough wood and bring it down to smooth. It's almost as aggressive as an angle grinder, but with a little bit more finesse. What you're not gonna use it for is anything where you know, the final surface needs to look really nice and smooth. This is, this is the intermediate stage to get down to the more finished work. A cool bonus with this tool is this little uh, edge protector. And you'll notice what happens, and everybody knows, when you run a, a sander up against a, an adjacent surface, you, you tend to tear into the foam pad. So Festool gives you this little snap-on accessory that locks in back here. And what that does is it spaces the, the sanding pad out from an edge just enough to protect it, but still allows you to get into the corner and clean it up. Okay, the third mode is the detail sanding mode with the delta pad. And what that does is it allows you to take off the round pad and put on this. And this just locks in there. And this is great for being able to get into tight spots. It just adds a whole other dimension to the single tool, where normally I'd have to pull out my oscillating multi-tool or my special purpose detail sander. Now I I have this, so I have three tools in one spot. And this is really, really great for getting into tight spots, uh, cleaning up a window sill, for instance, or working in and around stair parts. This is really gonna be kind of the ace up your sleeve. Everybody's come to expect that Festool has excellent dust collection on all their tools, and I can tell you that this one is no exception. It really does an excellent, excellent job, better than any sander I've used at, at picking up the dust. I mean, it keeps the surface clear, it keeps the dust out of the air, it's really amazing. But if you ask me, even a tool this nice still has a little bit of room for improvement. My biggest complaint with this is just that over the course of the last month, I've been using this a lot. And I can never seem to get comfortable on it. I don't quite know how to hold it. A typical random orbit sander you'd grab above the motor. Uh, sometimes they have a trigger grip back here. So you grab it like a, like a pistol, maybe with one hand on top. But this feels a little too compact. It's, this is small and your hand is too close together with this wide handle. A lot of times I end up with my left hand here and you know, grabbing the power cord or the, the hose connection and I just can't seem to, every time I pick it up I grab it a different way and I, I just can't seem to get comfortable with it. Okay, this is a minor complaint but I still think it's worth noting. Now this thing locks when you're in different modes. So once the tool is on, I can't switch. And that's fine, I understand why. But even when it's turned off, it sometimes is sticky. And I probably won't be able to show you, well I guess I can show you here. It, it gets a little hung up between the modes and you have to kind of push it down and again, not a big deal, probably something you'll get used to, but you know, on a tool this, this expensive, I feel like I should be able to get this right. So what's the bottom line here? It's a really great tool, I use it like crazy. I, I, I wouldn't give it up, but I also can't give it any more than a B plus. It's got some room for improvement. So Festool RO90DX, solid B plus.